Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mass Effect The Body Count Run. I'm G, and we are still doing some side quests. I'm thinking we might do a main quest uh, this time around. Oh, my sleeves are just having a time. Uh, but yeah, I think we might do a main quest just because I want to kind of get on top of the romance stuff. And just, yeah, there's a couple of side quests that you can get organically just by going throughout the galaxy. But it's a lot easier to uh, get them via things that you find in the uh, main missions. And frankly, I... Well, I, I don't want to use cheats more than I have to. There have definitely been a few of these uh, side missions that I just straight up pulled. Like, okay, go here, find the mission, etc., etc. But I'm trying not to do those. Commander? We'll okay. talk later, Williams. Yes, we're not doing that. Maybe I can only romance one of them at a time. I didn't say that I was romancing Liara, and I didn't reject Ashley, she never said any feelings, so I think I'm okay for now. I don't really want to talk to... Maybe I'll talk to Liara super duper quick, just to check. Maybe there's something else I need to do with her? I don't know. Hello? I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Well, that was a good conversation. I guess that now that I've expressed interest in Liara, I have to go do another mission, and then I can express interest in Ashley or something? I don't know. But you know what? Let's... come on. Thank you. Let's go do something funky. Let me take a quick look at uh, what of the main missions will uh, get me the most things. Let's do Pharaohs. Pharaohs is a good time. I'm just being snarky, Mass Effect. I love you. Alrighty, let's go cause some problems. since we've actually dealt with anything to do with the main quest. I mean, we went and got Liara, I guess, but that doesn't really feel like part of the main quest to me. Maybe I'm just being over-specific. Anger. Yes, I know. Ashley's Equalizing an girl. interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. But I'm gonna have a lot of time Log. to super the angry and awkward with her. Is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Wait. Oh, you know what I should probably do? I should probably level. One second. Alrighty. Now we can begin. You know what? Let's just... David Altalakani. We saw your ship. Fight Dan wants to speak with you immediately. No. I've got business of my own to tend to. The Geth wait for no one. They're preparing another attack. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Oh, oh 
Oh dear. Big dumb boy. Well, I got him in the end. Oh no, it's the jumpies. I hate the jumpies. Jumpy bastards. Yeah, yeah. I'm really glad that these didn't make it past uh, Mass Effect 1. I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait until I have warp back. Cause I do not want to deal with that. Wait, you're on the other side of the column? Why is warp taking so long? I hate these. Where are you? Yeah, perish. Oh. No. No. God. Damn it. Just Some action. Yeah, yeah, action. Like it wasn't just a grenade misfire, you dolt. Hello, Greta. Does get the bloody dangerous? Yeah, I am too. Oh, look at all these names of all the people that I'm gonna murder. If I can. I think I can kill all you. Hmm. Hmm. That's definitely not a side quest. Oh, whoa. Oh, God. Yeah, that sounds healthy. Hello, Fida. Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got Geth in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony! we go, Jesus Christ. We should update Fidan on the situation before we move on to wherever the Geth are bunkered. He's the closest thing left to proper channels. Okay. God. Don't you take that tone with me, Garrus. But I was gonna listen to what you had to say. You don't have to be short with me. Yeah, it's funny because he's tall. It's not. I'm sorry. I betrayed you. Okay. Boom. The tower's secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm interested in what Saren sent the Geth to find. Nothing more. If it's Geth you're looking for, you've come to the right place. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Tell me what the Geth want. Why are they attacking you? If you want answers, go ask them yourselves. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. How do I get there? The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. 
Every geth I kill brings me one step closer to Saren. Then maybe I can get this call in the Not operation. exactly how that works, but okay. We'll get going then. Good luck, Commander. Okay, let's go to the scary way. And I know there's a lot of little side quests here and there that I can do here. Once again, not really worrying about those. Those are things that nice people and good people do. We are focusing on the things that bad people do. Watch out! Scout, Jesus. I'll be here any minute. I don't know how much more I can take. Perish. Perish. Jesus Christ. That's it. Bag him and tag him. Okay. Let's go. people that I can murder unnecessarily. Come on. Get, get, come on. That's close enough! Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. You sure about get that? Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? I suggest you put that weapon down unless you're ready to use it. Don't worry about him. He only cares about the company. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. Fidan and some of the members of Zoo's Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're surviving, but the Geth really hit them hard. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. Just tell me where I can find them. <laughs> you see? They're not here to save us. We should just wait for company support before we... Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We can do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. And please remember, if you see my daughter... I wonder... if I can kill Lisbeth? I don't actually know. Okay. Oh my god. Ugh. Gotta love the steering on the Mako, especially when it flings you into the air because you steered slightly in the wrong direction. Give me our jumpy bastards, I'll kill them myself. Perish. Yay, I did yet. Okay. And then that's Perimeter clear. Can we? We need another way in. Right. Cause then we go. This we... looks like a one way drop, Commander. Yes, it does. Doesn't it? Don't you think so, Gurus? are you? And what are you doing in here? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. 
Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. I'll fight my way through the Geth soon enough. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. If you know something, tell me. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. What's a Thorian? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. I need more information. I need to know why the Geth are after this Thorian. I... I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Any suggestions? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. All right. I'll look into it. Stay put until the field is down. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. I'll just find a small hole to hide in until the field is down. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field. Thanks. Kill them all! Can you not? Could be such good bork bork doggos, but instead we chose death. Wait, am I not able to drop down? I gotta drop down over here. Oh god! I keep going to reload. Because, you know, I'm used to games where you need to reload. Access encrypted. No, I don't want to review protocol. I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with... Stupid machine! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Whoa. Really? Really? Is that how things are happening? There. I don't need to reload. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, Research Assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of Subject Species 37, the Thorian. What did you tell him? I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zeus Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zeus Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zeus Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Exogeny knew all along what would happen to those people. It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. That's why they were acting so strange. You should contact Joker. Joker! Come in, Joker. Damn it! That field's blocking us. We've got to drop that shield and get back to the outpost. V.I., tell me about the field surrounding the facility. I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. We need to find that ship. Let's get moving. Going to standby mode. Time to cause more problems. Oh boy.
need a way to give it a kick. Let's check the other claws. Damn things can't be perfect. This place seems almost peaceful. Do you think the Geth were using this room as some kind of religious temple? Whatever. I'm here to learn their customs. You know, you're in the right place when you get jumpy bastards. Come on. Snipers. Really? I hate you. How dare you. Super. Okay, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I don't need to... We got them all, Shepard. I don't need to reload. Gee, you absolute mongatron. Oh no. That sounds suspicious. That sounds like nothing that could possibly become a side quest ever. This claw is identical to the last. We'll have to keep going. Seems like a containment lab. So Ooh, it's boy. It's no armory, but tear up even one claw and that ship is gone. Ah, yes, Cerberus. Cerberus is good, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, PSI is in the 3134, so I need 3134. 17 and 13 will take me to 30. Okay, well, 17 and 11 will take me to 28. And 5 will take me to 33. Let's chop off that claw. Perish. Yes. 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 Fall to your doom. Oh dear. Exceptional commander. The fields will be down. We can go deal with this Thorian creature now. This was my kind of mission. Kill a bunch of geth and end things off with a huge crash. Keep your guard up. There still might be a few geth inside the base. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. Keep those colonists away from the Normandy. Gun them down if you have to. Uh, will do, Commander. We'll fire off a few warning shots. That should send them running. We're leaving, but let's rid this place of those damn synthetics before we go. Hmm. I just straight up told Joker to massacre civilians. Wait, I'm in the wrong place. Yeah, I need to go back up this way, okay. Geth terminal decryption skill too low. What? Tisk, tisk. Perhaps one day I shall play an engineer. But it is not this day. Nah, but for real though, I feel like there's an entirely different game experience. Uh, depending on how you, like, which class you play. There you are. Hello, Lizbeth. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. You said you didn't know about the Thorian. I don't like being lied to. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. 
I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I, I... I never meant for this to happen. Just tell me where I can find the Thorian. No more lies. The Thorian is underneath Zeus' hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. What bothers me is why the Geth were after the Thorian in the first place. Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm shatter. Looks like they're headed your way. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. Alrighty. Yeah, anyways, as I was saying, I feel like there's an entirely different... Like... Experience playing through these games depending on what class you play. Because, you know, you play as the soldier versus the sentinel versus the adept. You've got very different play styles, very different capabilities. And I imagine that it only gets more esoteric with, like, the engineer being able to access weird terminals. Oh my god. Or at least with the engineer in the first game. Yeah, I'd be very interested to see what uh, the engineer looks like in Is there anybody? Is there all three games. This up? But a lack of alas. Jong, chill out. I have chosen Adept because Magic Space Wizard. I do like my Magic Space Wizards. Stop! Stop the rover! This ain't a rover, this is a goddamn truck. I'm gonna run over you. Can I kill you? No, I can't. Oh boy. Execution. Oh. Time to kill Jong. You can't do this, Jong. <laughs> Everyone shut up! Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. <laughs> I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did on Torfin. There's no reason for this to get bloody. Not this time, Jean. You need to back down and let them go. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. Are you going to tell them about the Thorian? Or should I? The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus Hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. You've gone way too far. This ends now. If, if, if that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on, and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work, and you know it. So what now, Commander? I need to find out why the Geth are after the Thorian. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. Anything that gets between me and my goal is fair game. There's gotta be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. I'm not stopping to ask them to breathe deeply. How can it hurt to try? Please, Commander. These are our friends. Can I just refuse to get the nerve gas at all? Oh, that's cold. I'm not doing it. 
At least take the grenades, so you have the option. Do the right thing, Commander. Please. I'm not going to do the right thing. We'll I'm going to do way. the actively wrong thing. That's how this is working. Well, time to check my inventory. Whoa. Alrighty. Time to go and cause more problems. No, don't ask for my help. I don't care about you or your little human problems. Disgusting, honestly. How dare you even speak my name? Oh no, oh no! You know, this would come off as a lot more menacing if I uh, had any control over the vehicle I was driving. Okay, oh, oh no, oh no, we are going. Oh my god. You just tap the thing and then it goes, What if we went on an adventure? But you know, I, I do appreciate a good adventure, but dear god. A clean sweep. Nothing hostile lives to take a second shot. We did acquire nerve grenades from Dr. Bane. Do you want us to use them? Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna commit a war crime. We don't have time to waste on these people. There's a galaxy at stake. Very well. It is regrettable, but it is your decision. Let's make that number zero. Oh boy. Heads up! Wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't. Yikes! Forever. Yeah, I would dare say that there is zero colonists left alive. Oh my god, I got so much Renegade. How much did I get from that? Wow, I'm already at like half Renegade. Lord almighty. Alright, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What... It, this was not covered by my training manuals. Nothing's ever simple, is it? Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. 
I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You enslaved the colonists. You destroyed their minds. I don't know what Saren wanted with you, but I just want you dead. The Thorian is a piece of this world, extending across the land and back through the ages. You can no more kill it than cut the sky. Your blood will feed I do cut the sky. Chop it into little pieces. Oh, okay, you well, I guess. Die. Really? Okay, well. More. Why am I squatting? Oh boy. Yay. I got him. There's some kind of growth here. You mean this growth? You mean this one? Is that what you mean, Gyrus? I think he meant that growth. That hurt it. I can tell. A few more of those. Perish. I'm really glad that I went into a cutscene because I just hit the grenade button again. Like a goddamned idiot. There we go. I got him! Farewell, potato. May we never meet again. I really don't like how that plot resembles a rib cage. I'm free. I I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. How do I know this isn't some kind of trick? This is no trick. The Thorian is dead and I am myself again. My name is Shiala. I serve I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. You chose to side with Saren. So did Matriarch Benezia. Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. That's what you get for trusting Saren. Saren is quick to betray his followers and his allies. Once he had what he needed, he ordered his guests to destroy the Thorian. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions, but the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. You must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. Just give me some plain answers. Where is the Cypher? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. 
To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sense this ancestral memory, the cipher, when I meld it with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. You taught Saren, you can teach me. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. Are you all right? What just happened? All I saw were more weird visions. It still didn't make sense. You have been given a great gift, the experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship, Commander. Medical needs to know about this. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the Beacon. You were allied with Saren. For all I know, you still are. I can't just let you walk away. Your suspicions are understandable. But you freed me from the Thorian and from Saren. I am on your side now. If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. There are no colonists. You Goodbye. change sides too often. I have no choice. You must die. So be it. If this is the fate you feel I deserve, then I will not resist. That was your rationale. You tried to do for us. Saved a few. It's more than most would have done. Anyway, thanks. We'll start again. Just not here. That felt like some dialogue got cut off? You tried to do for us. Not something you tried to do for I I don't know. Either way, we uh Ooh, there's just nobody now. Oh dear. Either way, we dealt with the Thorian. Evil potato. Evil murderous potatoes. Must. Kill. Potatoes. Oh, that's not the way out. Ha ha ha! Ah, Shiala. I feel like the bad parts of uh, the body count run are gonna be really in the second and third games where I see all the effects. Wow, completely lost my train of thought there. All the effects of the things that I've done. Where I can see that there's no Zeus hope. Where I can see that people are angry with me and hate me and think of me as somebody awful. Those are gonna be a little bit rough. Not gonna lie. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Commander, Ma you look... Pale, are you suffering any ill effects from the Cypher? 
My brain's been scrambled like an egg. How do you think I feel? I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Nobody's messing with my head anymore. I'm sick of dealing with these visions. I understand your reluctance, Commander. But the visions are already there. I only want to help you make sense of them. It may be the only way to stop Saren. Make it fast. Time's a wasting. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! <laughs> Incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What did you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh... I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, is this some kind of game? Are you calling in a report just so you can cut us off again? You know it. That never gets old, does it? Miss Williams, Commander, we need to talk. If we do not resolve this situation now, I am afraid things might become... awkward. Oh, awkward, huh? I hope we can keep this civilized. I do not want things to become unpleasant. Because it's been so pleasant between us lately. Look, somebody in this room needs to make a choice. It ain't me, and it ain't you. I should have seen this coming. I am afraid it was inevitable. I may not know much about human relationships, but I understand the concept of jealousy. Jealous? Of you? You're not even our species. Perhaps that is why you feel threatened. I am a rival unlike any you have faced before. Hostility is a common reaction to the unfamiliar. Doctor, you keep smartassing me? I'll show you what my hostile reaction is like. Sure, let's provoke this. I love it when women fight over me. Oh god. Sorry, Commander. Gross. That fantasy's not gonna happen. We're not married, Shepard. You wanna get involved with some alien? Go ahead. It's none of my business. Okay, well let's be let's be gross. Why do I have to make a choice? Maybe the three of us could uh... In your dreams, Commander. I hope you two, or however many you end up with, will be happy together. If you don't mind, I need to clean my gear. I feel bad for her, Shepard. I hope she'll be okay. I mean, the concept of polyamory itself isn't the problem. It's the fact that Shepard went behind her back and was two-timing and being a huge asshole. Yeah! Problems. Ash is pretty tough. She'll be fine. I suppose you're right. I'm sorry you were put in this position, but I'm glad you chose me. I don't believe we should continue this discussion here in the comm room, Shepard. You know where to find me if you want to have a more private conversation. Oh my. Oh my. Alrighty, well, 
I feel like that is a pretty good place to cut it. We uh, managed to deal with Evil Potato. We managed to screw over Ashley and uh, break her heart a little bit. And just generally be a Machiavellian asshole. So that's neat. And uh, now we have the more side quests to do. More stuff to go kill people with. And we killed close to 20 people, which is yucky. Innocent civilian deaths! Yay! Anyways, beside the point. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you all so much for following my playthrough of Mass Effect The Body Count Run. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.